Star Trek Online is a massive multiplayer online game from Cryptic Studios and Perfect World Entertainment. If you are a Star Trek fan, this is your chance to jump in and play in your favorite universe. What began as a subscription-only game has now gone free to play. Not only is it a playground for anyone who has ever wanted to experience life in the Star Trek universe, thanks to a unique tool called the Foundry, players are able to create their own content. We call this user-generated content, or UGC for short. That's right, players can tell their own stories and share them with the rest of the player base. Imagine the opportunity to develop your own Star Trek episodes. This is a reality with the Foundry in Star Trek Online. Since its formal introduction in March of 2011, a segment of STO's population has gravitated toward this creative tool and has grown into communities of Foundry authors and players. The oldest and largest of these communities is a place we call Starbase UGC. Show them some stuff I was doing in Foundry. And yep. go from the pump to uh, actually finish mission. Good evening and welcome to episode 28 of Bite Size UGC. We've got a pared down show for you tonight, mainly because it's got two great After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived The best way to explain what Starbase UGC is all about is to first explain what the Foundry is. Within the massive multiplayer online game of Star Trek Online, you begin as an ensign and increase in rank by completing missions of various types, for Starfleet or for the Klingon Defense Force, depending on which side you choose. Each activity completed yields skill points that allow you to train in a wide range of skills as you increase in level, all the way up to Vice Admiral. That's the object of the game. But within this game is a user-generated content tool called the Foundry. The existence of this type of game mechanic is rare indeed. It is an editing tool that allows the player to create his or her own mission content and publish it for all the player base. Our philosophy in creating the Foundry is to have powerful tools that are easy to use. We accomplish this by focusing on storytelling. If you can dream up your own episode of Star Trek, the Foundry can make it a reality. The Foundry lets players write, direct, and star in their own episodes. And then you can take your stories and put them into the rest of the Star Trek universe by hooking them up to a mission contact already in one of the zones. 
At Cryptic, we really value user input, so we're constantly looking on the forums, playing user-made missions, and really trying to gauge what the community wants out of this tool. I'm really excited about all of the community support we've been getting for the Foundry. Players have been on Tribble, our public test server, for some time making their own missions, and now we are spotlighting some of those missions on Holodeck, our live server. On top of that, the community's been doing a great job making resources of their own, where players can go to learn how to use the Foundry toolset as well as to promote their own missions. It may seem intimidating at first glance, but it is actually quite easy to do once you are familiar with the toolset. What you're doing is telling a story, so that's how Foundry is designed. The main tab in the editor is the storyboard. You begin setting your story by first choosing a pre-made map or creating your own custom environment, either in space, on a planet's surface, or the interior of a ship, base, or building. Once you have a map, you then add some objectives for the player to perform according to the needs of your story. You may have an all-out war, or just add dialogue, or both. The choice is yours. There are plenty of props and characters to choose from, but if you'd like to create a specific type of alien, for example, you can do that in Cryptic's excellent costume creator. Just click on the Costumes tab, create your characters, and drop them on the map. You may add enemy or friendly groups from small skirmishes up to epic battles. With many included animations and special effects, the Foundry can make your dream into reality for you to share with the world. Sound like fun? It absolutely is. Don't know where to begin? That's where Starbase UGC comes in. StarbaseUGC.com is a one-stop destination for any help you may need to make your Foundry experience the best that it can be. Our members are spread out all over the globe, from Canada to Australia, Great Britain, Germany, and all across the U.S. There is always someone in our own IRC chat room to help you out with any problem or concern, or just to join in and have a great conversation. Our members consider it our prime directive to assist Foundry authors and players alike. If you're not into the chat, we also have video tutorials covering just about every aspect of working in the Foundry. These videos were made by our members as well. You will surely find your answers there, and you can play them at your leisure. And we'll be right back with a few words from Starbase UGC's founder right after these messages. <coughs> Doctor, I would speak with you regarding some discomfort I'm having. Sure, Sulek. What seems to be the trouble? In private, if you don't mind, Doctor. Don't worry about Nurse Borden, son. She's busy with her duties. That patient on the bed there went into cardiac arrest a few minutes ago. Now what's troubling you? Come on, out with it. I'm a doctor. There's nothing I haven't heard. Well, I've been on this mission out in deep space for six years now. It was about a year before I got the assignment Say that no I... Say no more, son. I've got just the thing. Medical science has advanced to the point where we've almost licked the common cold. Blood fever? No problem. Not anymore. Now there's Vulcadin, Ponfar Reliever. It magically erases all symptoms associated with the Vulcan mating ritual. I have tried medications before, Doctor, but... But you've never tried Vulcadin. Just take two of these and you'll be right as rain. You are right, Doctor. I feel 98.35% better already. Ask your doctor about Vulcadin. There's no need to fear Ponfar. Side effects may include weight gain, weight loss, hair loss, ear pain, stomach upset, diarrhea, incontinence, flatulism, irritation of the inner eyelid, round ears, and topriapism, a mind melt lasting more than four hours. If you experience any of these, call your doctor immediately. Patients with an allergy to Plomeek root should not take Vulcadin. In the Federation Justice System, the people are represented by two separate yet equally important groups the Starfleet officers who investigate violations, and the silicon-based life forms who prosecute the offenders. These are their stories.
so I told my wife, look, if you need a new food replicator, I suggest you replicate a new one. It ain't like I'm on salary. Hey, you're preaching to the choir, my friend. My third ex-wife used to pull that, and I'd give her the we do this to better ourselves and the rest of humanity speech. And she bought that line? Nah, that's why she's an ex. She left me for some upwardly mobile Orion. She's a slave these days, but I hear she can replicate a hell of a meatloaf. Benny, look! Jeez, Ray, you want to slow down? I downed a swimming pool's worth of scotch since I won that high school track medal. Now what do we have here? Looks like your Vic is one of them Ferengi. Another milestone in deductive reasoning. DNA scans identify him as a guy named Brand, a solicitor. It's gonna be tougher trying to find someone who didn't want to kill this guy. Anyway, there are no apparent wounds of any kind. The medical examiner is en route. We'll know more after he examines the feller. Well, until the M.E. gets here, I want a portable stasis field set up around the body. I want special attention paid to the Vic's hands for particle traces. I also want his lobe scanned for possible foreign DNA. His ears, Detective? He's Ferengi. I guarantee he's had umlocks in the last 24 hours. Call it a hunch. Why, you got something against the man dying with a smile on his face? I hope you enjoyed those commercial parodies. They were made in the foundry, as was this entire presentation. And getting back to it, I caught up with Kirk Fett, the man who created Starbase UGC, on his yacht off the coast of Greece. Here's what Kirk Fett had to say. Starbase UGC was created in October of 2010 in anticipation of the foundry. It was designed to provide a central hub for writing resources, research tools, and most importantly, tutorials to help folks learn how to bring their own stories to life in the world of Star Trek Online. Almost immediately, the site became as user-generated as the Foundry. Any Foundry author could write blog posts promoting their mission. Almost anyone could help contribute to the website, its tutorials, and its features. What started as one person's desire to create a website for Foundry authors evolved into a website run, maintained, and updated by the larger community. Please join us as we continue to grow as a community of collective voices and unique storytellers. Be a part of something larger, where your unique voice matters. If nothing else, learn from our community of authors who have shared many tutorials that will help you get started. From its humble beginnings to its vibrant community-generated livelihood, Starbase UGC has been the home of the Foundry community. Please join us, tell your own stories, and add to the rich universe of Star Trek Online. Since those beginning days at Starbase UGC, the community has developed in many ways as more and more members joined up, bringing their diverse personalities and talents along with them from every corner of the world. Foundry authors are creative by nature, so it wasn't long before they were producing more than Foundry missions. Everyone began to have ideas about the best ways to help new authors and players. Some made trailers for their missions in order to advertise them, and helped others to do likewise. Others began reviewing missions and offering advice on possible improvements. It then began to seem as if many players felt that these missions created by their peers had to be amateurish and therefore not worth their time. Not to mention that the Foundry had not yet made it off STO's test server, affectionately called Tribble and a great number of Star Trek Online players did not bother with anything happening on the test server. It was a member of Starbase UGC that felt we needed a podcast to inform the player base that these missions not only rivaled what was already in-game, but that Foundry would soon be coming over to the main game server, Holodeck. So, on February 15th, 2011, Podcast UGC aired for the first time, coinciding with Cryptic's decision to spotlight several player-made missions 
by bringing them over from Tribble to Holodeck. Here is Havraha, the man who's responsible for Starbase UGC's first podcast, appropriately entitled Podcast UGC. Podcast UGC was never one of the original podcasts devoted to Star Trek Online, but we were the first devoted to the Foundry. After an invitation to another podcast fell through, myself and several other users of Starbase UGC, the premier website for the Foundry and Star Trek Online, got together and, with a little effort and a lot of ingenuity, recorded our first podcast within only minutes of fully meeting each other. We've been recording them weekly ever since. Being 75 episodes in and having not killed each other yet, we show no signs of slowing down. Granted, not much happens within the Foundry these days. News is slow to come and actual updates are even slower. But the appeal of our podcast isn't in what Cryptic does. It's a podcast that highlights the personalities of the hosts, often how differing our opinions are, and a show that highlights excellent Foundry missions the users are making. If you enjoy podcasts of any kind, come give us a listen. We hope you enjoy it. Broadcast UGC first started as an idea in late June 2011. At the time, there was only Podcast UGC that really reviewed missions, but there was something lacking. They could talk about the missions, but they couldn't really show them off. That's why I thought about creating the not-yet-named Broadcast UGC. Its goal was not to only show off the missions that Stoke players had created with the Foundry, but to have fun doing so. Unfortunately, due to a number of things beyond our control, we couldn't start the show until two months later, at the beginning of September. Galactrix and I joined together as co-hosts, and ever since, we have been playing missions via livestream at livestream.com slash Cerberus Films and posting them to the Cerberus Films YouTube channel. We have been having fun, and hope you could join us next time we play a Foundry mission. Hello, this is Rogue Enterprise for Bite Size UGC, a Foundry mission review show started by myself and Captain P.F. Dennis, with reviews being conducted today by Captain P.F. Dennis and Kirk Fat, the founder of StarbaseUGC.com. This show aimed to fill the need for a short, concise review format that provides a fast and concise look at a given STO user-generated mission. These reviews air once per week and pull from the latest missions to grace Star Trek Online's Foundry mission scape. Foundry authors, new and old, are automatically entered into a potential mission review pool when they provide their mission name to the weekly advertisement for new missions on StarbaseUGC.com. Reviews are segmented into four distinct review criteria. Story, the execution of the tale being told to the player. Map design, the quality of the environments the author has built for the player. Tech, the use of advanced technical tricks in the mission. And difficulty keeping the mission hard enough to be challenging, but not so easy that it's a breeze to get through, or so hard that it's not fun. Look for the latest entries in the Bytesite UGC review catalog by visiting starbaseugc.com. The latest podcast to be created from Starbase UGC is called Primetime UGC. This is a podcast solely devoted to the Foundry, Along with a mix of Foundry news, author interviews, the occasional STO dev interview, and previews of new missions, we create those parody ads that you saw earlier in this presentation. Not only does Primetime focus on the Foundry, it is made with both Star Trek Online's Machinima tool, Demo Record, and the Foundry itself, as is this presentation. Primetime UGC was again created by myself and Rogue Enterprise, after realizing that so much more could be done with a video podcast than we could do in the three-minute bite-size UGC. Along with my co-hosts, Casmodian and Cerberus Films, we endeavor to bring as much information to the UGC community as we can, while making it both educational and entertaining. So far, we've had 12 episodes with more in production. Primetime UGC airs bi-weekly on Monday evenings at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific at www.livestream.com forward slash Cerberus Films. You may have noticed that that web address keeps coming up quite often. It is the live stream channel of Cerberus Films, one of Starbase UGC's many creative members. He is a young BAFTA-nominated filmmaker who is responsible for Starbase UGC's own media outlet, Foundry TV. And he'll be here to tell you all about it after these messages from our sponsors. 
All this training, battle drills, and killing works up quite a thirst, and even though we are Jem'Hadar, we occasionally get fatigued, especially when we become honored elders like me. That's why I love Victory Energy Drink. Victory gives you that 26-hour boost that Jem'Hadar over 20 sometimes require. First. And Victory contains half the sugars of other energy drinks. First. So it's much less filling and won't slow you down. First. What is it, second? Victory is also the only energy drink that contains the isogenic enzyme that every Jem'Hadar needs. That's right. It's brewed from the finest trinucleic fungi this side of the Cabrel system. It keeps me alert so I can keep killing and maiming all day long without tiring. And it's got half the calories of other brands. I am first to Mary Red. And I am tired. And at our age, we are all tired. We drink to reclaim our energy. This we do gladly, because we are Jem'Hadar. And remember, victory is light. Victory, victory is light. Block. Strike. Oh, by the sword of Kalos. Wake, wake, little warrior. You should have taken that batak in four moves. Ah! <laughs> what? Klingons don't cry. Stop it right now. Wait a minute. Did you have a meal this morning before the contest? No, father. No? Foolish child. That is why you failed. You must eat a good meal to keep your strength up and be alert. Come, I have just the thing. Kellogg's Rock Bites, the live cereal that contains all the nutrients a growing Klingon warrior needs. And they taste great, too. Why, we've had Rock Bites from the house of Kellogg around our table for generations. Why, one bowl of this, and you'll be able to ground your friend out there into dust. You will have your vengeance, my little warrior. And remember the proverb. Revenge is a dish best served cold, and Rock Bites is a cold cereal. It is a meal fit for Kalos himself, and it's part of an honorable breakfast. Now go out there and gut your enemy. <laughs> <laughs> What first drew me to the Foundry were the numerous tutorials and trailers to help get Foundry users started. What kept me there was the creative, interconnected, and fun group of people that congregate there. Without a doubt, it's what's kept me hooked in the Foundry, hooked to Starbase UGC, and hopelessly addicted to Star Trek Online. Hi, I'm Cerverus Films, or as I'm known in the non-virtual world, Oliver Smith. I'm the creator of Foundry TV or Livestream.com forward slash Cerberus Films. I've been a member of the Starbase UGC community from near its inception. The idea for Foundry TV came about when I noticed more and more people making trailers for their missions, and I thought, wouldn't it be cool if there was a place where everyone can come and see all these trailers? So I began scouring the internet, looking for every mission trailer I could find, and set up a Livestream channel. Soon after, I was chatting with a few other community members, including Podcast UGC's Terry Liness, and quickly, the G&T show was born, focusing on the writing of Star Trek as well as STO. Then, with the creation of our extremely popular Star Trek Reunion Machinima series, of which Captain P.F. Dennis is a writer, a slew of content ideas began coming my way for other shows. Within weeks, Broadcast UGC was born, and soon followed Bite Size UGC, and then most recently, Primetime UGC. But we needed somewhere else to store them to be watched later, and so we started hosting them on YouTube as well. We continue to go from strength to strength here at Foundry TV and Starbase UGC as a whole. It's a great place to be, filled with a huge amount of talented and supportive people. My name is Cerberus Films, and you've been watching the Starbase UGC Foundry Documentary. So, that's what we're all about, and it comes down to two words. Star Trek, in all its incarnations. Star Trek Online is free to play, and Starbase UGC is free to join. If you want to spend some time in the Star Trek universe, and perhaps write your own chapter in the history of the future, 
get over to StarTrekOnline.com and sign up. Get into the game, get into the foundry, and pay us a visit at StarbaseUGC.com. We'll do everything we can to help you make your mark on Star Trek and to make your dreams a reality. We thank you for watching this presentation. I am Captain P.F. Dennis, a proud member of Starbase UGC. I hope you enjoyed it.